Amy, welcome again to the American Club's Pastry Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing the ultimate chocolate pudding, which we now have featured on our menu in the Horse and Plow restaurant. And people are just singing its praises. We just heated up some cream, exactly four cups of the heavy cream. And we're going to put in eight ounces of dark chocolate. And we're going to whisk that until it's smooth. And also, just as a counterpoint flavor, just one quarter teaspoon of sea salt just to really bring out the wonderful flavor of the chocolate and also to mitigate some of its sweetness. We're just going to really notice I'm kind of making sure that I get in all the corners, making sure this is nice and smooth. I'm also going to add, notice I have a fourth of a cup of sugar here and a fourth of a cup of sugar here. We're going to add half of that sugar, the first fourth cup, to our chocolate mixture. Next we have our six egg yolks that we've separated. And in that we're going to put our other fourth of a cup of sugar and we're just going to mix that. The minute you put sugar on any kind of egg yolks, you have to mix it completely. Otherwise you're going to get burning. You're actually going to chemically cook the egg yolks. Okay. We're going to add the vanilla extract. That was one teaspoon of a really good quality vanilla extract. And then we're going to add that melted chocolate and the cream. And we're going to temper that into the egg yolks. And then we're going to put it back in and mix it completely. And that's chocolate goodness. And then last but not least is one little extra step. We are going to run the chocolate mixture with the egg yolks through a china cap just to get it all nice and smooth. This is what's referred to as a china hat or a chinoise. And notice I'm going to take my little whisk and I'm going to use it to get every little bit of that because that's really good flavor. You want a really quality chocolate, but you don't want a chocolate that's high in cocoa mass, 55% no more. So if you see lint 70% or something else on the, sh on the shelf, try to avoid that. It's going to make your pudding too chewy. Likewise, I'm going to put this in a vessel that's easy to pour. Notice how lovely that is and smooth. And then I'm going to pour that into my ramekins. And notice I have that in a cooking vessel. Because we're going to water bath this. I'm going to fill these about three-fourths full. You will have enough for about six servings. I just put five because it's convenient in this picture. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is to find another vessel and just to put this on top. Once you put your hot, hot water in, put this on top, put it in a 350 degree oven, and there you're going to leave it for exactly about 30, 35 minutes. When you see it jiggle just so it's like a shiny quarter in the center, take it out let keep it in the water but let it finish baking just on room temperature and you're set and ready to go and now we're going to finally we're going to dress what we got out of the oven and show it and we'll taste it all right you'll notice we're going to dress our beautiful we took out we took the chocolate pudding out of the oven and we let it sit in the refrigerator for about 2 hours and then now we have, and we're going to dress it with a little bit of whipped vanilla cream. That's just heavy cream that we've put in a little sugar. 
and a little bit of vanilla paste. You can use vanilla extract as well. We have two-tone chocolate cigarettes here. And that we, we're going to put those here. We're going to gild the lily just a little bit by using some beautiful raspberries for color and flavor. Last but not least, we're going to give everybody a little crunch element of our chocolate chip cookie. This one with a little bit of dry roasted peanuts just for a little bit extra crunch factor. And there we have it. Straight from our kitchen to your home. We hope you like this recipe. We hope you enjoy it. And if you're in the neighborhood, stop in at the Horse and Plow where this is featured. Would love to have you here. Would love to see you. Amy, good to have you here at the American Club. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon.